So, hello guys, this is Nex and I welcome you to the second part of this tutorial. And what I'd like to show you today is how we can fill the vertex buffer with a couple of more um, information and more data and this to, to kind of create a more complex uh, structure. First of all, a square and then even a, a cube. How to do that, um, I will show you. And the second part will be how to use the data of the vertex buffer and draw it and put it out a second time, like drawing it a second time, how we can use the same data uh, for different purposes. So where I want to begin is that we can actually set up our vertex this is a little bit differently in one line. So, uh, words 0 equals new vertex position colored. So, we simply set it up like that and use the parameters given. Um, and we have here the option of typing in the parameters straight forward. So let's say 0, 1, 1 and the color over here. And that's it. So we could remove that. So it's one line and yeah, it still works, it rotates around. So for now, first of all, let's uh, turn off the rotation. And let's look at it. Okay, that's the triangle. And what I wanted to do now is actually make two triangles and put them together into one square. Uh, therefore, we first of all would need uh, six vertices so the double amount um, plus we need to tell our vertex buffer to be able to store actually six um, of such vertices so the vertex buffer needs to store now six our array is now six and yeah let's create these six vertices um, the point is we need to change kind of now the first vertex into here minus one uh, one one is okay the second one is um, minus one minus one minus one and the third one will be um, one, 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 one. So we don't need these over here anymore. And let's check. Okay, yeah, we have it now positioned in over here in that form. And down here, we're going to draw the second triangle. So I can actually copy these. And three, four, five. And two vertices are actually the same, yeah, which is um, this, this one is the same as the first over here. It's minus one. And the third one is one minus one and the third one is one 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 okay so it doesn't show the second vertex yet and the reason why is we have stored six vertices and we have um, the area is obviously big enough as well um, but down here in the paint method, you know, everything inside here 
is being rendered in a loop and here this function draws our primitives it draws the triangles and we the the, the last parameter is the primitive amount how many of these triangles will be painted so we have to raise this actually up to two let's see voila here it is uh, we can change the color to see them a bit better so red 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 yeah here we go and two triangles into one uh, thingy. I turn the color back because I want to have it into one um, one side in one color and now theoretically I only if I would like to draw now the back side of a cube I could use the same over here with the same coordinates and simply the change the set coordinate into minus. We won't see anything yet though because yeah it's somewhere in the background so let's just let this whole thing rotate I'll activate the rotation again and yeah obviously We forgot actually to seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Plus, of course, now we need to make the area a bit bigger and also the vertex buffer. Plus, we need to actually draw now four triangles. Ha, ah, and here we are. But there's one little um, mistake. Um, if I have a full cube later, I only would need to draw the outside of it. And if I would draw the outside, then one, uh, one of these uh, rectangles or squares is actually drawn the, 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 into a wrong direction. So set here the color mode to counterclockwise which only shows me then one side the, the front side of one thing and as you can see once it's drawn and one side is actually not drawn when it should be drawn and to change that we <coughs> actually have to swap some numbers over here so we have to simply draw the vertex in a, uh, the, the triangle in a different order so we start over here with minus one one but we swap these two from the coordinates you know? so it draw, draws it in the other way around so one one and here is then the minus one minus one let's see what happens yeah now as you can see, the second page, one triangle is already in the right direction and the same goes over here with the second one. So minus one minus one is good as again and we simply swap these two. So this minus one goes down over here and that's it. And so we have the right orientation of both. You can theoretically imagine already a cube going. So we have the front side and we have the back side of a cube. Um, to go a little bit further we would need to actually draw 36 vertices because one cube consists of uh, eight uh, of six, six sides which each, each side consists of um, Two triangles so we have 12 triangles all together and every triangle has three vertices so we need 36 vertices simply to draw a cube 
I gonna fasten this up. I have prepared it already. I simply gonna copy this information and put it over here. So um yeah, I draw drew now here the front side and the back side and the left side and the uh, right side, then the top and the bottom. Um, the colors we have blue, blue. Oh, we need to set one into another color. Let's take it red. Okay, yeah, of course, we have an out of bounds exception because we need to start it. We need to raise the vertex up to 36. Here, a little typo. So, additionally, down here we need to draw now how many triangles? 12 we have. And what else here? Yeah, the buffer. The buffer size needs to be raised as well. Ha! Huh, and here we are, our first uh, cube. If you wanna type the coordinates here, I'm gonna pause. You can pause to type them in if you if you feel like. And yeah, now let's continue with the second part. Now first of all, to actually see that the top of the, the cube, we can rotate it around the x-axis for once. Yeah, here we go. Or to rotate it actually around three axes, there's another option. Uh, I have prepared it over here. It's the rotation around your pitch roll and what this requires is um, it requires first of all uh, the the yaw An um, angle which is kind of uh, the, the rotation around its own y-axis in radians that's why we have here the math p uh, again and we just divide the angle by math pi. We do this uh, three times and to actually make it a little bit different in its rotation, uh, let's just check it out how it would look with math pi. Ah, so it would rotate all around but we never gonna see some certain sides of the cube to make it not so, so, so symmetrical rotating, we divide this by 2 and we uh, multiply this by 4. So we have a little bit of a different rotation. We, as you can see, that's now a cube. And because we put everything into the right order, it's actually shown. So. Um, Let's try it out. It's the wrong thing. Wait, 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 wait. Where is it? Counter clockwise here. Call move. Um, let's go for clockwise. What will happen is now we would see only the inside of the cube. Yeah, it looks a little bit weird. So let's go back counterclockwise and yeah that's it and next step will be now we would like to use the same data which we're painting here uh, in setup camera uh, then we are painting it here with the draw primitives we would like to do this um, to use this again and if we use this again it will draw the same stuff a second time. So the device 
we will draw the primitives again and if we would like to change now the the something with with the location or so we could simply um, take the same transform world which we have over here and we put it inside here so this draw primitives will be put on the screen and then we transform the whole world yeah, we have the rotation but what I actually would like to do first before I let it rotate I add a um, translation matrix so if I have a translation matrix I can simply put the whole stuff a little bit aside or for instance on the X axis 0 0 and I multiply it with our original rotation matrix you know so now the whole cube will be moved a little bit to the side and then drawn a second time uh -huh. it's somewhere uh -huh. yeah. we see it already Let's put this at the end. What is happening now? The effect is not here anymore. <laughs> simply because I changed the position of this and the reason why is that it does matter what matrix I multiply with what in what order you know so um, I can't see it now because I have to simply move out with my camera a little bit and there's the setup camera over here we go to minus 15 yeah it should be enough Ah, now we see one other cube over here, so we could actually move a little bit uh, somewhere, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's do minus 25. And now we see the two cubes happily dancing. I could now give the, the other matrix down here some other values so it would actually rotate differently like dividing this by 2 and multiplying this by 6 it's not doing anything over here so now it's rotating differently and as you could see I just multiply it in a different order it would do a total different thing so that's how you actually can play around with with basic matrix uh, mathematics and yeah That's it for this tutorial. Uh, and yeah, see you for the next one. This